Hello there and welcome back to another process video, or if you're new here, welcome! This time I'm working on a panoramic illustration where I focus on motivational reminders. I start off with a bunch of sketches because I wasn't entirely certain what I wanted to do in this illustration yet. At this early stage, I also hadn't decided if this would be a series of illustrations or a panoramic image. This is exactly what the sketch face is for though, figuring out what to paint and how things go together. Through sketching, I got the idea of a set of illustrations seen from a top-down perspective. And why did I end up going with the panoramic image instead of three individual illustrations? Well, the thought was that they can work as individual illustrations as well, which I'll get back to later. I also saw working with a panoramic illustration as a fun challenge, as I would need to get three images to work together beyond simply exploring the same topic and colour palette. For those who have watched the videos prior to this one, you might find the topic of this illustration to be kind of familiar, and that's not so strange as I wanted to revisit one of the illustrations I created two months earlier during my limited colour palette art challenge, Hulai. There was one set of illustrations I was really unhappy with and wanted to give another shot. I'll leave a link both in the video as well as the description in case you're wanting to check out those images. When I redid this illustration, I already decided I wanted to use a different colour palette to the original series because those colours simply weren't working. Instead I used colours from some of the other Hulai colour palettes. And in case someone needs to hear this, if you choose to redo an image that you've created earlier, you are free to make other artistic choices, be it your style, colours, details and so on. While it can be really amazing to be able to compare an image like for like, that's not necessarily what you're aiming for, especially if you find things that you are unhappy with or things that were simply not working. These illustrations were created over the course of two days and were painted using Procreate on an iPad. And while this is a panoramic image, I also wanted to make sure that the illustrations could be cut in three. This is in part because the image brings up three different topics and I wanted to make sure that they could work individually as well as together. However, it was also partially driven by the way Instagram tends to use square thumbnails and I wanted this to look good in my grid. This is also why the illustrations were painted from right to left as I wanted to make sure that the image I was going to post first to socials would be completed first. If you have any questions about my process, be it my art process or even my thought process, please let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them or even bring them up in another video. The first illustration is all about not comparing yourself to others, more specifically making sure you know you're in a different part of your creative journey compared to the more established artists you might see on social media. This meant that the focus had to be on the phone as these apps live on our phones which we tend to take everywhere and sometimes we spend hours on end on social media. Without noticing, we are comparing our lives and our skills to what we see others share. We even forget that what people share to social media tend to be curated and their very best work and images. It doesn't mean that you should stop seeing what others are doing, but instead of wishing to be at their level and feel down because you're not there just yet, 
figure out what you can do to improve and get to their level. The middle illustration focuses on nurturing your craft, which of course means practice, practice and more practice. Though practice takes many shapes and forms, it's not always about finished work, but also coming up with ideas, sketching, researching and processing information and impressions. And the final illustration is all about taking breaks and resting, which is paramount in order to allow ourselves to continue to work. And that's true regardless of what you are working on or what field you're in. I see these three messages as paramount in making sure we keep working and continue to be creative. Are there any of these messages that resonate with you? While the illustrations were painted in Procreate, I made the final changes to the images in Photoshop. First and foremost, I added the text, which I always do in Photoshop, as it has more options for typography compared to what Procreate does. Another thing I did was to add the final border to the top and bottom in order to cut off the illustrations. As I was painting, I was uncertain if I wanted the items to stick out of the light pink background or if I should mask them off, leaving a white border at the top and bottom. It was of course easier to figure out this bit after all the illustrations were completed and when I went to fit in the text so I can see what kind of space I needed and so on. The proportions of the elements in this illustration might seem a bit weird. I mean, the phone is far too big compared to the cup, the cat, the pencil and the paper with the sketches. While these things might look really weird, there were choices I made while painting, as it was more important to me to get the topics and meanings across, which meant that sometimes the size choices were part of telling the story, rather than being true to what we see in reality. Thank you so much for watching. More process videos are up on my YouTube channel, but you can also find more of my work on my website and on social media.